Welcome to our video on the current state of the housing market. Something big is about to happen and you won't want to miss it. We'll be exploring the top 10 cities where home prices are likely to crash and the factors that are affecting home prices across the United States. Now, have you noticed that home prices have been dropping? It's not just in Texas and Arizona, but across the country. Some experts are even predicting that the national average could decline by as much as 20% by the end of 2023. That's a significant shift from just a few years ago, when home prices were on the rise and many predicted that they would continue to increase indefinitely. So what's causing this drop in home prices? Is it the pandemic and economic downturn? Is it inflation, deflation or something else entirely? And what about the real estate bubble? Is the housing market crashing, collapsing, or about to go insane? These are all important questions, and we'll be answering them in this video. But we're not just going to talk about the national housing market. We'll also be taking a closer look at the top 10 cities where home prices are likely to crash, and explaining the three reasons why home prices will fall by 50%. Plus, we'll be discussing whether home prices will continue to rise or if they'll ever go down again. It's a challenging time right now for the average investor, and it's important to stay informed and make smart decisions. So, stick around to find out what's happening with home prices and get ready to make some informed decisions about your own housing situation. Whether you're a homeowner, real estate investor, or just someone who's curious about what's going on in the housing market, this video is for you. So let's dive in. Now, it's a question on many people's minds. Could we see prices crash as dramatically as they did in 2008? It's a scary thought, but understanding the potential causes and consequences of such a crash can help us make informed decisions about our finances. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the factors that led to the 2008 financial crisis and explore what could potentially trigger a similar crash in the future. By analyzing historical data and expert insights, we'll give you the tools you need to protect yourself and your loved ones in the face of economic uncertainty. So stay tuned to find out more. Now before we get started, let's take a step back and ask ourselves a question. What is the housing market and why is it important? The housing market is essentially the market for buying and selling homes. It's important because it can affect the value of your home as well as your ability to buy or sell a property. A strong housing market can lead to increased home values and more opportunities for homeowners and investors. On the other hand, a weak housing market can lead to declining home values and fewer opportunities. So, with that in mind, let's dive into the current state of the housing market. As we mentioned earlier, home prices have been dropping in many parts of the country to the pandemic and economic downturn. With so many people out of work or struggling to make ends meet, it's not surprising that home prices are declining. Additionally, there are concerns about inflation and deflation, as well as the possibility of a bull market, a bear market, or a market correction. And of course, there's always the fear of a stock market crash. But it's not just the national economy that's affecting home prices. There are also local factors to consider. For example, some cities are experiencing more significant drops in home prices than others. In our top 10 list of cities where home prices are likely to crash, we'll be exploring the specific reasons why these cities are experiencing a decline in home values. In this list, we'll be taking a closer look at the factors that are causing home prices to decline in these cities. From struggling economies to declining industries and population loss, we'll be examining the unique challenges that these cities are facing and how they're impacting the housing market. So join us as we explore the top 10 cities where home prices are at risk of crashing. 10. Las Vegas, Nevada Las Vegas was hit hard by the housing market crash of 2008, and although home prices have recovered somewhat in recent years, the city is still considered to be at risk for another crash. 9. Chicago, Illinois Chicago has struggled with high levels of crime and a declining population, leading to a decrease in demand for housing. 
As a result, home prices in the city have dropped. 8. Baltimore, Maryland Baltimore has faced a number of economic challenges in recent years, including a declining population and a lack of job growth. This has led to a decrease in demand for housing, causing home prices in the city to fall. 7. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania Pittsburgh has struggled with a declining population and a lack of economic diversification, leading to a decrease in demand for housing. This has caused home prices in the city to drop. 6. Cincinnati, Ohio Cincinnati has struggled with a declining population and a lack of job growth, leading to a decrease in demand for housing. As a result, home prices in the city have fallen. 5. Milwaukee, Wisconsin Milwaukee has experienced a decline in manufacturing and other industries, leading to a decrease in demand for housing. This has caused home prices in the city to drop. 4. St. Louis, Missouri St. Louis has suffered from a lack of economic diversity, with many of its industries declining in recent years. This has led to a decrease in demand for housing, resulting in a drop in home prices. 3. Buffalo, New York Buffalo has been hit hard by the decline of the manufacturing industry, which has led to a decrease in demand for housing. As a result, home prices in the city have been on the decline. 2. Cleveland, Ohio Cleveland has also struggled economically in recent years, leading to a decrease in demand for housing. This has caused home prices to drop significantly in the city. 1. Detroit, Michigan Detroit has long been known for its struggling economy, and the recent recession has only exacerbated the city's financial woes. As a result, home prices in Detroit have been steadily declining for years. So, what can you expect in the coming years? Will home prices continue to decline, or will they bounce back? That's the million dollar question, and it's one that we'll be answering in this video. Whether you're an average investor or a seasoned pro, you won't want to miss this. As we gear up to explore the exciting world of the housing market, don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button to stay in the know. From the latest trends to expert insight, we've got you covered on all things business. Don't miss out on the opportunity to stay up to date on the current state of the market. Join us now and let's dive in together. We'll also be discussing the three main reasons why home prices will fall by 50%. These reasons include the impact of the pandemic and economic downturn, the possibility of inflation or deflation, and the risk of a real estate bubble. But it's not all bad news. While it's true that home prices are dropping in many parts of the country, there are also some bright spots. Some experts believe that the housing market will bounce back and that home prices will continue to rise. In this video, we'll be exploring both sides of the argument and offering your own insights on what the future may hold. So, what's the bottom line? Is it a good time to buy or sell a home? That's a decision that you'll need to make based on your own circumstances and goals. But by watching this video, you'll be better equipped to make an informed decision. We'll be providing you with the latest data and expert analysis so you can make the best decision for your own situation. Now, whether you're a homeowner, real estate investor, or just someone who's curious about what's going on in the housing market, this video is for you. So stick around and learn more about the current state of the housing market and get ready to make some informed decisions about your own housing situation. Now, one important thing to consider when it comes to the housing market is the concept of supply and demand. Simply put, if there are more buyers than there are available homes, prices will likely rise. On the other hand, if there are more homes on the market than there are buyers, prices will likely fall. Right now, it seems that the balance is tipping in favor of sellers. With the pandemic and economic downturn leading to declining home prices, there may be more homes on the market than there are buyers. This could lead to further declines in home values. However, it's important to note that the housing market is not a one-size-fits-all proposition. Different cities and regions may experience different trends in home values. Some areas may be more affected by the pandemic and economic downturn, while others may be more insulated from these factors. 
So if you're considering buying or selling a home, it's important to do your research and understand the local market conditions. Look at factors such as employment rates, population growth and the overall health of the local economy. These can all impact the demand for housing in a particular area. In addition to supply and demand, there are other factors to consider when it comes to the housing market. Interest rates, for example, can impact the affordability of homes and may affect the demand for housing. Additionally, government policies and regulations can also play a role in the housing market. So, as you can see, the housing market is a complex and multifaceted beast. In this video, we'll be exploring all of these factors and more as we take a deep dive into the current state of the housing market. We'll be examining the trends and patterns that are shaping the market and offering our own insights and predictions for the future. But it's not all doom and gloom. While it's true that home prices are dropping in many parts of the country, there are also some bright spots. Some experts believe that the housing market will bounce back and that home prices will continue to rise. In this video, we'll be exploring both sides of the argument and offering our own insights on what the future may hold. So, what's the bottom line? Is it a good time to buy or sell a home? That's a decision that you'll need to make based on your own circumstances and goals. But by watching this video, you'll be better equipped to make an informed decision. We'll be providing you with the latest data and expert analysis so you can make the best decision for your own situation. One thing to consider is that the housing market is not a one-size-fits-all situation. Different parts of the country may be experiencing different trends. For example, while home prices may be dropping in some areas, they may be rising in others. It's important to do your own research and consider the specific market conditions in the area where you're considering buying or selling a home. Another factor to consider is the current economic climate. The housing market is often tied to the overall economy and the COVID-19 pandemic has had a significant impact on the economy. Some experts predict that the economy will bounce back in the coming years, which could lead to an upturn in the housing market. On the other hand, if the economic recovery is slower than expected, it could have a negative impact on the housing market. Ultimately, the decision to buy or sell a home is a personal one and should be based on your individual circumstances and goals. It's important to do your own research and consult with a financial advisor or real estate professional to help you make the best decision for your situation. So what does the future hold for the housing market? Well, it's difficult to say for sure, but by staying informed and understanding the various factors at play, you can make a more informed decision about whether now is the right time for you to buy or sell a home. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video.